guys and welcome back to my channel. If you've just joined me on this particular video, this is part two of my makeup collection. I've decided to uh, split it into two, as I said in the first one, but if you've just joined me on this one, then you know you might not have seen that one. Um, but yeah, it was just far too long. I have a large collection. Anyway, this is part two. Keep watching, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will put a little eye card up here so that you can link back to part one. And I'll also put it in the information bar because it does depend on what device that you're using anyway thank you so much for joining me of course give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below if you wish i'll see you soon the next drawer i haven't said actually i got these little baskets and they fit quite well in the drawers um it sort of overlaps slightly but that's okay um i got these little baskets in home bargains or bargain buys or something for a pound for four so they might sell them in poundlands or pound worlds um definitely go check them out because they fit really nicely i really like them they fit quite a lot in as well as you can see so um in this drawer i've got it organized in um four different ways obviously in this side is any of the chubby lip pen, uh, pencil type things so the color rush balms the nick nick's chunky dunks avon ones the me now kiss proof ones these are matte um i've also got in here i think the revlon uh just bitten and the color uh the matte ones the matte balms it's like i think it's this one yeah, Revlon, Mac Balms, that sort of thing. So I've got quite a number of those um, and I really like those. I used one the other day and I look, this one, I, think, I do use this one a lot actually. It's a really good nude colour um, and I've got an H&M one in there as well. Um, over here is anything that is a matte liquid lipstick or a lip stain. So things like these Revlon Just Bittens, they've got a, a felt tip on the end here and then you just cover it with a bar. Oh no, that, that's meant to be in there. Um, <laughs> matte liquid lipstick. So things like the um, NYX Soft Matte Creams, Pro Butters, it says they're a lip gloss, but they're not, they're a matte liquid lipstick. The Velvet, Salvation Velvet Lacquers are in here, the MUA ones. The Me Now lipsticks that are a pound from eBay, I've got those in here as well. Um, what else have I got in here that's different? I've got a Sephora lip cream, this is a Luster Matte, that's really pretty. The H&M ones, which are really, really good. And I'm just wondering if I've got anything else in here that's different oh yeah i've got a nyx lingerie lip product i got that from america though i don't know whether we've got that color here so yeah they're my matte liquid lipsticks i don't have tons of them i mean there's more than the average person but um yeah i don't really use them very often my favorite formula is probably the soft matte lip creams i think they're really really good but they're not very long lasting in here is anything that is a liquid lipstick that doesn't dry matte or a stain that you put a gloss over. So it's it's a glossier lip. So things like the um, Extreme Shine Lip Creams by NYX, the Makeup Revolution Eufor Lip Euphorias, these Just Bittens that I was talking about, these are great, the stain. Um, the Lipstick Queens, they are not matte liquid lipsticks. These Rouge Edition Aqualax, which I don't think many people like, but I really like those. These are my favourite formula of um, long-lasting liquid lipsticks. They're the Superstay 24 colour from Maybelline. Highly rate those. Um, the Apocalypse, the Rimmel Apocalypse and Provocalypse. So those all stay in here. And then finally, it's lip gloss. Well, it's like a mayhem in there, but it's because of these wow glosses. They don't really fit anywhere. Um, I've got a number of those. I've got some wow glosses from I Heart Makeup. Um, my butter glosses from NYX. I love those. And the intense butter glosses as well. Um, I have a, I think this is a Soap and Glory one. Yep, Sexy Mother Pucker. Really love that. Um, my favourite lip gloss from H&M. This Lush Lip Vinyl in Milk and Honey. I wonder if that's going to focus. No, it's not really going to focus. What a shame. Um, yeah, that's in Milk and Honey. I really love that really good for a quick ombre lip i have a tanya burr lip gloss that came out of her palette but i didn't keep the palette but i did keep the gloss it's a shame that that's not focusing oh well um yeah so i don't have many lip glosses but i suppose again i've got more than the average and i just can't seem to keep this one tidy because of these wow glosses they don't seem to want to stay in order up um on the other side of the room is my 
or the rest of my collection, which is still quite a lot. So I wanted to take you through this. This is my Makeup Revolution um, palette holder. I got this from B&M. It's actually just a plate rack, but it holds them perfectly. I've put all of the, uh, they're not all of my Makeup Revolution palettes, but they're all the same size and width. So it keeps them quite um regimented so in here are all of the um redemption palettes salvation palettes and the pro palettes so i'll just show you uh, for example i've got the um iconic uh, sorry this is the um iconic one redemption palette um i can tell you exactly which ones are which without even pulling them out so iconic one iconic two iconic three which are the dupes for the naked palette i've got my naked uh, my mermaids versus unicorns i've done it in order that i've bought them or in order of my sort of preference um or if they, they're in a sort of order i've got things like this one which is the hot smoked um and then another sm i think the romantic smoked um this is the, is the iconic elements palette which is really really good um and then what are the last two i can't remember what they are now Essential mats and essential mats too. So those are the um, redemption palette. Uh, sorry, yeah, redemption palettes. And then we have the um, smoky, which is a dupe for the naked smoky. Um, again, it's a redemption palette, but it doesn't have a clear lid. Behind that, I've got the iconic Pro One and the iconic Pro Two. These are the dupes for the Lorac Pro and Lorac Pro Two. Um, and then behind that is the neutrals versus neutrals palette. One of my favourite palettes of all time. And then we go on to all of the, they're quite dusty actually, um, the Salvation palettes. These are the 18, um, I'll show you, they're 18, this one's quite mucky because it's the most used one, that's why it's in the first position. Salvation palettes have got 18 shadows, 6 mattes and um, 12 shimmers. So I'm just going to open this with one hand. Um, this is the Run Boy Run one for example. And that's what they look like. So if you haven't seen those before, definitely give them a try. I've even got a limited edition one, which I don't think many people have. Um, I think I was quite lucky to get it. And it was this one, um, which is, uh, it's got a holographic cover, which I absolutely love that one. And yeah, brilliant. So I've got all of those. They're all of my similar size Redemption Pro and Salvation ones. Moving on, we have, it's quite dark in here, so maybe I'll move this, so just bear with me. So in here, in this basket, I've got um, any of the face palettes from Makeup Revolution. So any of the blush palettes, for example, or the contour palette or the corrector palette, they're all in here. Um, for some reason, it doesn't fit anymore, and they used to. I don't know why. I've got the... Oh, I can't get it out now. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette that I got. Um, from my sister-in-law uh, I've got a palette that doesn't really fit anywhere but it's this one I think it's the I Heart Sin yes I Heart Sin palette which is great and then I've got all of the 32 shadow palettes behind that so everything from flawless all of the flawless ones flawless flawless two flawless beyond flawless flawless mattes um, I've got the Fortune Favours the Brave, which you can tell because it's the only gold one, but it's the same size. And I've got Affirmation. So that, and I've also got Mermaids, uh, Mermaids Forever. So that, I think that's the first one. So I've got all of those there. They're all my 32 shadows. I've got the large Freedom Pro Pad palette. I've got so this isn't this is um, the Vice palette. It doesn't fit in my uh, high-end one so it just sits in the back there my Urban Decay Vice and then the Morphe 35W is it 35? Yeah, 35W, the warm palette, um, which I'm actually going to be selling because I don't really use it very often and I use my Makeup Revolution ones more. This um, little thing, I've got lots of Freedom palettes. I have one Makeup Revolution one, it just doesn't fit and it's the Corrector Base palette. Um, I've got the other little Freedom Corrector palette, the little tiny Freedom palette and I've got um, a um, Contour and Sculpt palette by L'Oreal in there. Um, these are all my Freedom palettes though in here, the House of Glam Dolls ones, etc. They're all there. And then I've got my customizable ones. These are from Cal uh, um, Crowd Colour. What is that? For some reason that's peeling off, which is a shame. 
That's a shame. I didn't expect that to happen. Let's just open that. This has got, at the moment, my MAC and Arbon shades in. I'm just going to keep that there. And then in this one, we have any of my Makeup Geek um, shadows and a Makeup Geek blush. I've just got another Makeup Geek blush. I'm going to have to try and sort them out. So these are my Makeup Geek shadows. And I really love this one. Really love this palette. That's a shame about that one, though, doing that. What a shame, didn't know that you'd done that. Finally, this is my chocolate bar palette basket and it's got every Makeup Revolution chocolate bar palette or I Heart Makeup and then my only Too Faced just recently got Sweet Peach palette um, which is really, really good and it's really making me want the chocolate bar palettes although I've got the dupes so I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, these are my much adored um, chocolate bar palettes and they all stay in there so anything that's sort of chocolate bar related stays in this one. Next up is the top drawer of the four drawers that I've got where these palettes are on top of and this is sort of my high end and other palette drawer. Um, we've got things like Zoeva palettes in here, the Carly Bible palette, the, my favourite cargo palettes in here. Um, I've got four Steeler palettes in here, uh, some of my favourite palettes. I've got a few little Tarte ones in here um, from a gift set. I've got some other Makeup Revolution ones in here, actually, that I need to sort out. I don't know why they're in there. Um, and I've got these little, um, what are they called again? Uh, Wet and Wild ones that I got in a swap. I've got a, um, this is a contouring palette actually I need to put away, which is the inner mask one. And then I've got all of these Visart palettes, which I absolutely adore. Um, there's four of those. Again, they need to be put away probably a bit nicer. Um, there's this top Happy Picnic. And then underneath this, I've got my Live Love London one, my Naked 3, which I don't really use. Um, my Chroma Beauty ones, which are incredible. My Naked Basics 2, I really like that palette actually, I don't use it a lot but I do like it. Um, all of my, the three um, L'Oreal ones that I really, really love. This is a Boots number 7 one that I got from uh, Secret Santa, which is my friend Carly. And then my two palettes from H&M. In the next drawer is the um, my little Elf Elf quad i've got all of my primark palettes anything that's kind of very cheap or not regularly used but i do still want to keep them because i haven't decided to throw them away or not yet my go palettes because they're an awkward shape ps love palettes my avon palettes and my kiko palettes they all stay in this drawer of this drawer this is the face drawer so i've got all my matte blushes here including my um, makeup revolution matte blushes which i really rate i've got an h m blush i've got these which are the ombre blushes from essence really rate those like this one it's just such a pretty ombre let me get that out it's difficult to do things while on camera that one how gorgeous is that just love that. Um, my little Etude House one with the little puff. Love it. And all my... Um, I've got the Instain one by um, The Balm. It's a little sample. Freedom. And then a number of what they're called MUA blushes, which I really, really rate. Then in here we have any blushes that have got a bit of shimmer to them or luminosity. So things like the Milani blushes. Um, anything that's baked blush or shimmery blush goes in here um the max factor powder puff blushes this gorgeous blush from makeup revolution and blushing hearts um i'm hoping to get a few more of those and this one which i got from my sister-in-law from america um and this one is the um what's her name disney villain jealous blush it's really good apparently it's wet and wild that make those blushes and then a number of blushes from good old h and m there we go just putting that back and i think i've even got an elf blush in there yeah and then here we have anything that is highlighter this is growing so i'm going to have to find a way of splitting those out i've got a couple of these um makeup revolution ones uh a freedom one i've got some cream ones i've got shimmer brick uh, oh, I've got, uh, there's cream and powder highlighters in here, actually. So things like this, the collection speedy highlighter, which is excellent. 
And then finally in this drawer is any cream blushes, any stick blushes, any chunky blushes, anything that's cream and blushy is in there. So they are my blushes. And finally, we have any face powders in here. So setting powders or just face powders. And then we have any bronzers in this side. I don't have much of those two because I tend to stick to the same ones. Um, and I'm just trying to get through my bronzers so I can have maybe just one bronzer. I'm not really fussed about bronzers. But in the back here is any products that I've got, face products that are duplicates or I want to move on to next. So that's all in here. So once I've finished my Kiehl's um, moisturiser, I'm going to be using this. But that's lasted me so long, that Kiehl's one. Um, I've got my uh, backup of my Botanic Super Youth. Super Serum Radiant Youth and my backup of my Planet Spa Facial Oil which is my Holy Grail Facial Oil and there's a number of other things so if I go travelling etc I can take things with me I've got little samples in here as well so I tend to keep everything in this drawer Finally, the final final bit is um, I've got any loose pigments or single eyeshadows in here I try not to keep them too much um, I've got any spare brushes that are, these are brushes I don't like but I just can't bring myself to throw away any eye products that I don't use on a regular basis or mascaras that I started to use that I don't like but are a backup to be fair they're probably going to go in the bin um, all of my beauty sponges are in here along with all of my uh, what are these called eyelashes they're my eyelashes so that goes in there Hi guys, thank you so much for watching part two and um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. There is a lot going on. As I explained in the beginning of part one, there is going to be some changes. This is just as my makeup collection stands and how it looks. Um, there is, It's quite messy <laughs> and I apologise for that. But thank you so much for sort of bearing with it and I hope that you enjoyed it. As I said at the beginning of the video, give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Comment down below if you wish and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care guys.